Hey there, young explorers of the math world. Ready to dive into cool math challenges? Dive right into our Math Quiz for Kids channel for some exciting math challenges. And if you're ready for the fun, give us a thumbs up and subscribe right away. Question one. Nine times seven equals what? So the answer is 9 times 7 is 63. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 7 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 63 balls. Question 2. 3 times 8 equals what? So the answer is, 3 times 8 is 24. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 8 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question 3. 8 times 4 equals what? So the answer is 8 times 4 is 32. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 4 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 32 balls. Question 4. 9 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is, 9 times 9 is 81. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 81 balls. Question 5. 8 times 3 equals what? So the answer is 8 times 3 is 24. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 3 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question 6. 3 times 6 equals what? So the answer is 3 times 6 is 18. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 6 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 7. 5 times 4 equals what? So the answer is 5 times 4 is 20. To calculate, we have 5 groups with 4 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 20 balls. Question 8. 3 times 7 equals what?
So, the answer is 3 times 7 is 21. To calculate, we have three groups with seven balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 21 balls. Question nine, three times two equals what? So the answer is three times two is six. To calculate, we have three groups with two balls each one. So how many balls do we have? Six balls. Question 10, three times five equals what? So the answer is three times five is 15. To calculate, we have three groups with five balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 15 balls. Question 11. 8 times 8 equals what? So, the answer is 8 times 8 is 64. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 8 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 64 balls. Question 12, four times three equals what? So the answer is four times three is 12. To calculate, we have four groups with three balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 13. 2 times 8 equals what? So, the answer is 2 times 8 is 16. To calculate, we have two groups with 8 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? Is 16 balls. Question 14, four times nine equals what? So the answer is four times nine is 36. To calculate, we have four groups with nine balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 36 balls. Question 15, eight times six equals what? So the answer is eight times six is 48. To calculate, we have eight groups with six balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 48 balls. Question 16, 
Eight times five equals what? So the answer is eight times five is 40. To calculate, we have eight groups with five balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 40 balls. Question 17. Nine times eight equals what? So the answer is nine times eight is 72. To calculate, we have nine groups with eight balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 72 balls. Question 18. Two times six equals what? So, the answer is, two times six is 12. To calculate, we have two groups with six balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 19. 9 times 9 equals what? So the answer is 9 times 9 is 81. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 9 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 81 balls. Question 20. 2 times 4 equals what? So the answer is 2 times 4 is 8. To calculate, we have two groups with four balls each one. So how many balls do we have? Eight balls. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more math quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.